how's everyone doing today bringing you another video today's video is going to be on the EK archery adder this one is the version 2 they do have a third version right now the magazine which I can upgrade it to the magazine because the crossbow itself is the same they have the 18 shot um, magazine which is the version 3 uh, I think I think it's on pre-order. I'm not sure that they're actually uh, delivering those at the moment. But they do have a third version coming out in pre-order. Um, this one is the beast of the house, of this house at least. Uh, it's my biggest crossbow at the moment. Um, I don't think I'm going to go any bigger than this. This one has the 130 pound limb. Uh, maybe one day I'll upgrade it to the 190 pound limb by Venom. Uh, but I'm not quite so sure about that right now. Um, I like this crossbow. This crossbow is awesome. It's very well made. Uh, the magazine is metal. Uh, the body of the crossbow is polymer with some rubber texture somewhere. No, this is all polymer. Sorry. Um, the buffer tube is metal. The buttstock is pl polymer or plastic. Um, and while I like this adder, um, I don't like shooting it too much. Um, I'm going to explain why, or let me rephrase that. Um, and I'm going to say this, like I always say this, uh, for home defense, uh, your best option is going to be a firearm no matter what, but you do have options out there if you can't have one or if you don't want to have one, this is a a great option with some caveats um, and here's my this is my opinion why I say caveats um, from fully closed I'm not a very big guy I'm 190 pounds about five hundred five seven five six around there so I'm not a very big guy um, from the end of the of the stock to the front of the bow it's 31 inches it's 19 inches from on the limbs 19 and some change but it's 31 inches that's the only caveat for me in my house it's a little long um, so that's why in my home I'd rather if I didn't have firearms I'd rather use the stinger 2 uh, or in my case, the Stinger 1, because I have the Stinger 1 that I added a stock to it, a homemade stock to it, uh, and it's roughly 21 inches. So it's ten, there's a 10 inch difference. Uh, it is 18 inches, if I'm not mistaken, from side to side. So it's not that much smaller limb wise. Um, it's an 80 pound draw. But it's only 18 inches and 21 inches long. So that's the only, I wouldn't even say it's an issue. I just, my preference would be the Stinger 2. And it's also my opinion. Um, but this is a great option. I'm not going to lie. It has a seven round magazine that I'm going to target shoot with right now. Um, so like I said, I, I do like this crossbow. Um, I just don't like shooting it too much. This is, a, this is about 15 pounds. So if you're going to be shooting this for long periods of time, you're probably going to get tired. And that's why I don't like shooting it too much because I get tired uh, after a few sessions. Um, you know, it's, it gets tiring. It's, it's 15 pounds. Um, but again, it's a great option to have for home defense. Like I said, this these are just my opinions. So, um, you know, there really isn't much to show here. Uh, you can jump online and watch many videos of people using these. Um, if you like, you can also take this off and just shoot one shot at a time. Um, I don't think there's a problem with that, but um, again, in my case, I like it. It's not a bad crossbow. It's actually a very great crossbow. It's, um, 
very well made, like I said before. Um, I don't know, it's just per personal preference, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to flip this over, and I'm going to load these bolts up. Uh, there is seven of them. Like I said, this is a seven-shot magazine. And the only reason, as I stated before, why... I'm not big on using this one. The only thing I would probably use this for, like really, really, really use this for, would be in a, for hunting. And again, this is just my personal preference. It would be for hunting. Um, like I said, I'm not saying you can't use it for home defense. Just my personal opinion that I would just use it for hunting. Just because it's, it's a little bit heavy and it's long, um, you know, it gets tiring to uh shoot this for a while but um yeah let's get a quick session on uh this crossbow is sighted in for 45 feet away uh which is about um 12 yards or so 12 and a half yards um but it is sighted for 45 feet away that's the distance from one side of my house to the other uh we are about 30 feet away from where I am behind the camera uh, so I may not be on point because it is about uh, 15 feet difference um, so let's go and you know regular basic stuff if you're gonna shoot it you cock this all the way to the front and you latch it back on and we're loaded and let's see where we're gonna shoot oh forgot the safety oh and this thing is very powerful man i wouldn't doubt that i'm gonna mess up a few bolts shooting this And as many people say on these videos, you want to keep track of your bolts. You don't want to dry fire one of these things because you can cause damage not only to your bow, but also you can harm yourself. You can injure yourself. Oh man, this thing is hard. And that's it. Okay, so I was aiming, let's go over here, I was aiming down, I was aiming down here where the W is or the horns of this is because like I said it's sighted in for uh, 45 feet and I'm only 30 feet away. So they didn't go all the way in, that's great, like I said before this target is really really hard. Um, I don't know what they make this with, but it's, it's extremely hard. And like I said before, this, that is a 30 pound, 130 pound limb, um, which I will show. As you can see, let me bring this up a little bit. As you can see right there, it's 130 pound limb. Okay, so it's not the practice limb, it's not one, the 91, the 90 pound limb, or the 110 or whatever it is they have, um, it's the 130 pound limb. Um, when I bought this, I paid about 600 bucks for it, and the reason being is because I bought it when it first came out, and it came with this magazine, the first magazine, uh, I think it came with an extra limb, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure, uh, it came with the red dot case that you put here to install a red dot on it but um yeah um you know like i said listen this is a good it's a good uh 
not good. It's a great option. I'm not going to lie. It's a great option. It's just heavy. For me, it's, it's a little heavy on the heavy side, a little cumbersome um, for me to uh, use for home defense. I'm not, but I'm not in, I'm not in no way, shape, or form saying that it's a bad option. It's actually a pretty good option for uh, home defense. And with, uh, with plenty of practice, if you get proficient with it, uh, you can be you can become deadly accurate with it and very very fast with something like this even the stinger one if you have that uh, you're not going to be able to find them anymore so unfortunately um, but you can find the stinger two available across all sorts of uh, websites um, but there you go the adder the adder v2 great option um, I'm not going to shoot anymore because like I said, I'm not a, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not a very big fan of shooting this for a long, for a while, for a long time. Um, like I said, it's just cause it's, it's heavy for me or not for me. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty strong dude. It's just for me, it's a little cumbersome to be shooting all the time. You know, I keep it, it's it's a nice option. I keep it on the wall um, in my room. And like I said, I would use this with no problems for uh, hunting purposes and even, <coughs> excuse me, even a self-defense situation, I, I would have no issues using this. Uh, would it be my first choice? No, but it's a great choice. But there you go. That's today's video. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.